friends moving on to our next topic under annex 6 which comes under regulation 22 and 22 a is seemp seemp stands for ship energy efficiency management plan now this has come under uh, come up under resolution mepc 21363 and uh, the ship energy efficiency management plan usually the survey may ask you what is seemp so this is how you need to answer it now ship energy efficiency management plan is divided into part 1 and part 2 Part 1 represents ship management plan to improve energy efficiency and part 2 represents ship fuel oil consumption data collection plan. Now under part 1 is the framework and structure of the part 1 of ship energy efficiency management plan. The, it also provides the guidance on best practices for fuel efficient operation of ships. Now it provides a possible approach for monitoring ship and fleet efficiency and performance over time and some options to be considered when seeking to optimize the performance of the ship. So that is what is present under part 1 and under part 2 is guidance on methodology for collecting data on fuel oil consumption, distance traveled and hours underway. It also uh, uh, provides direct CO2 emission measurements and it provides the methodologies so a ship of 5000 gross tonnage and above should use to collect the data required pursuant to uh, regulation 22A of MAPOL NX6 and the process that the ship should use to report the data to the ship's administration or the duly authorized organization by the administration. So that is what is present under part 2. Now we will be uh, looking into the framework and structure of part 1 of ship energy efficiency management plan. So our next topic is regarding the framework and structure of part 1 of ship energy efficiency management plan. Now this includes planning, ship specific measures, company specific measures, HRD, human resource development, goal setting, implementation and record keeping, monitoring, self evaluation and improvement and then again back to planning. So this is the whole cycle, this is the whole framework and structure of part 1 of ship energy efficiency management plan now during in planning planning determines the current status of the ship energy usage as well as the expected improvements and measures to be taken are done in planning itself then comes the ship specific measures in ship specific measures we take into consideration the uh, to improve efficiency of the ship the speed optimization of the sh ship your weather routing and hull maintenance of the ship that is your ship specific measures for energy efficiency then company specific measures include to establish an energy management plan to manage its fleet then human resource development HRD the human resource development includes raising awareness of and providing necessary training to for personnel both on shore as well as on board ships Comes, next comes goal setting. Now goal setting is very important and uh, it is one of the last sections of uh, planning. Now for goal setting, annual fuel oil consumption is important. Annual fuel, fuel oil consumption goals, goals are set. Then specific target of the EEOI that is your energy efficiency operational indicator. These are set. Then the goal should be measurable and easily understandable. The purpose of goal setting is to serve as a signal which involved people must be conscious of and to create good incentive for proper implementation of the system and to increase commitment to the improvement of energy efficiency. Now this is what goal setting does. Then implementation and record keeping. When it comes to implementation there should be establishment of implementation systems. Then implementation period for each selected measures to be present and record keeping for implementation is a must. And then monitoring. Monitoring, monitoring should be done quantitative measures, uh, quantitatively uh, should be monitored the energy efficiency and monitoring tools to be present. Then your energy efficiency operational indicator serves as a primary tool for monitoring your uh, uh, energy efficiency. Then establishment of monitoring systems to be done under monitoring. Then self evaluation and improvement is the last part where uh, you self evaluate the plans and feedback is done to make improvements to the planning and this is how your uh, this is the whole cycle of your management and uh, this is how the ship energy efficiency management plan works this is the framework and structure for part 1 of SEMP
guys moving on to part 2 of SEMP that is shipboard energy efficiency management plan is ship fuel oil consumption data collection plan now for part 2 uh, I have taken this information from resolution MEPC 28270 uh, the fuel oil consumption data collection plan is based on the following methods are used to collect the data that is method using bunker delivery nodes your BDN now bunker delivery nodes are supposed to be kept on board for at least three years uh, the bunker delivery node determines the annual total amount of fuel oil used based on the bunker delivery nodes the next method used is your method uh, to collect the data is by using flow meters the flow meter determines the annual total amount of fuel oil consumption by measuring the fuel oil flows on board by using flow meter. The third method is by using bunker fuel oil time monitoring on board. That is, uh, it determines the annual fuel oil consumption, the amount of daily fuel oil consumption data measured by tank readings, which are carried out by appropriate methods such as automated systems, your soundings and dip tapes, uh, those will be aggregated and uh, this is how the uh, ship fuel oil consumption data collection plan works and uh, that's regarding part 2 of SEMP and uh, this is all about your SEMP and there is one important point to be noted the ship's sh uh, ship energy efficiency management plan may form part of the ship's safety management system so this is one of the important points to be noted regarding uh, your SEMP so that's all about SEMP. Thank you.